I'm so depressed. This is a project I was working on last week. I spent about 10 hours on it. Look at the buildup. Our students became publishers and editors. And published authors. Nice music too. Everything looks good so far, but then look what happens. I'm building up our 1001 Flat World Health website, and here comes the crap. Do you see it? Do you see the crap? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with the focus of that zooming. Or should we say the lack of focus? Do you see it yet? What am I zooming in on? The same thing every time, the middle of the page. I'm cutting off every student's head and focusing on nothing. And you know why? Because if somebody had just taught me, I could have used the Ken Burns effect to make all of those slides in that movie look like this. And this. And this. And this. And best of all, I know you'll love this. Like this. So here we go. You're gonna learn the Ken Burns effect. Okay, so I found another photo in Flickr using homework that I like, and um, it's for a different project I'm doing. So I'm gonna save that photo, you know the deal. I'm gonna go to click on it, then I'm gonna go to all sizes, and take the biggest one because that will be the sharpest looking image. And by the way, just to show you, if you scroll down, you'll see the copyright information. It says by, B-Y, meaning you have to say that you got this from me, that I, I made it. And the no dollar sign means you cannot use this for personal profit. So that's how Creative Commons copywriting works. You have to give them credit. So to do that, you want to copy the uh, link to the person's main website on Flickr. And that's very easy to do. You just right click on their name and you copy link location. Yeah, so you copy the link location. And open up a little Word document or uh, text edit file and copy the information down. Put the author's uh, website link and the name of the photo. That's good enough. You'll use that for your credits at the end of your movie. Then you know the deal. You click all sizes. Take the biggest one. Download it. And put it in your folder for your movie. So now we're ready for the final part. You need to open up iPhoto so that you can put those photos in your movie. So open it up, go to, go to File, and then Import to Library, and go to the folder you made. I put mine on my desktop, so here it comes. My iMovie photos. So click on that folder, and then to select them all, you can just click inside there and hit Apple A, of course. And then click Import. And here they all come into your Now at this point you notice that they're all in your 2007 library folder. Make a new folder. I made one called, I'm gonna make one. File, your iPhoto. Not a folder, an album. I'm gonna call it Cut the Crap because that's the name of these little uh, iMovie tutorials because we don't want you making crappy videos. And then I'm gonna go back to, to that 2007 folder, open it up, find the photos that I just imported and just move them over into my project folder. That'll all make right, things so easier. Great. Now all of our photos are in the folder for our project. So now we can go to iMovie. Go ahead and go to iMovie. And if you look over, if you click Media Photos and find your folder, click on the image you want and look what happens. You see the Ken Burns effect pops up. Now look at those directions very carefully. You see on the top a zoom bar that goes left and right. That zoom zooms in and out. So you can start with a close up or you can start with a zoomed out. And then the bottom is the speed button. How long do you want that effect to take? All right, do you want it to be fast as a rabbit on the left or do you want it to be slow as a turtle on the right? Notice you can grab and drag the photo wherever you want it to focus. Grab it and click on it and move it around until you get the photo position just where you want it in the frame. 
And that's where I want it to start. So I found where my start point is and I've set start. Now I want to set my end point. So I click end and I'm going to, I want it to zoom out, not that much. Mm. Okay, yeah, I think I want it to end on that flame right there. That's really slow. It's too slow. I've changed my mind. I want to put the, uh, the flame as the close-up, so I want it to just zoom from the bottom to the top of this photo. A real close-up shot. And then I'm going to click preview to see how it looks. And that's how it's going to look in your movie, roughly. But that's too slow, so I'm going to speed it up and try again. Look at the preview. And you know what? I think I am changing my mind. Don't you think it would be better if a person... I've reversed it. Now the viewer will see the flame first and not know what's burning until it zooms down and they see what would make every student happy, their homework on fire. I want it to be a little faster, so I'm going to move that slider towards the rabbit. And there we go. When I found the settings that I want, all I have to do is click apply. And it's going to render that. So you just wait a second. And there it is. That's how you do the Ken Burns effect. Thank you.